Okay, uh, hello everybody, good morning, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Uh, well, obviously, tuning in for a bit of this. Hello, uh, I'm Joe Vosper, 10 billion states. If you've not been here before, we're well into this uh, series. Probably a good idea to go back and watch the first one if you don't know what's, what's going on. Uh, so, uh, recently I'd started talking about uh, an alternative way from the way I was considering with page life and all of that for building this. And I'm talking about something I'm calling the Freedom Factory. And I want to give you a bit of an update on that. I've got another video out earlier this evening on it. But this one I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about uh, where I want to take this. So slide on over, have a bit of a read through. Okay, so I want to talk about the property tracking apps on uh, 10 billion, billion states product lines. Now, they're there for us to get into the habit of seeing everything going on around us in terms of financial transactions. Uh, now, what the various actors are, are making over all of the advertising that we're living in. So, you know, we're down here, we're getting on with our lives and everything around us is really pushing our buttons, uh, especially if you walk around city centres, places like that. But if you sit at home with a TV, it's the same thing. So this has become a bit obsessive. This has become the environment wrong. And I'm looking at attacking it in a few different ways. So, all right. Uh, so, I'm going to read this and it's going to be a slow one, but I don't want to rush this. Okay, the rapid takeover of our planet is a production race. This is advantageous to us because we're fighting over in an overproduction market. What I mean by that is, well, you know about this. We mass produce everything. We're buying things that we don't need. We're cluttered with crap. Okay. Uh, so if that's the state of them, this should be easy. All we need to do is establish uh, a rollover momentum in the markets. And the way we do that is we reach them with necessary revolutionary uh, products fast. We make them extendable, functional, and cheap. So this is why we've got a product division and why it has to be central to our attention. Now, you can argue we don't desire a continuation of a market-driven society, but you can argue that we don't need to aim for the greatest possible dissemination of information, and we need to do that to fill the aims of a free world. And we can't deny that the cash economy and daily utility, everything we need, everything we're running around chasing, whether we like it or not, isn't something we can afford to ignore. So production, I think, should be centric, so uh, um, central to where we're going, you know? All right, so here's an instant cornflake box giveaway. The Civic Cell. Okay, what I mean is when you buy a 10BS product, we're going to give you the Civic Cell. Um, so all the information, everything you buy, sell, do what you talk to, interact with all day. We're monitoring it. We're thinking of what you really need for your own city. Um, now, this allows you to compare your expectation with expectation all over the world instantly. And you can, uh, you can use mass data to, to examine your own civic view and find your quickest way to, um, to build in the world you want around you. And we all can uh, in parallel. Now, that gives us a hell of a lot of information because our vision immediately is going to completely eclipse anything anyone's offering us. And I don't just mean the mainstream media, the World Economic Forum, universities, whatever they're talking about. We live in a market where the only new venture capitalism at the moment is going into medicine and fintech. Fintech are those financial gadgets you buy. Now, if that's an expanding market, what are they selling? Utter bullshit. You know, it's tin food. Give us something fresh. Oh, don't even bother. So this is why we need to gather our data, use it, start building products where everyone can see and bring to light just exactly where the con is. And you do that by expecting better things because you've got the capacity to trade for it. And this is the platform we're trying to get going. We're going to put out some real political products and we're going to do this together. Right. So scales of economy dictate that this market is necessarily easier to access than a lesser line. And the best thing about us.
Okay, scales of economy dictate this market is necessarily easier to access than a lesser line. And the best thing about us as speculators is the brevity of our concerns. We're not interested in every detail. We build expensive, and that's important in an area with so much attention. What the cell does is automatically compare your viewpoint globally and your map, and your map, oh, I'm sorry, and map your neighborhood's design potential. This way, margins of comparison battle to the highest degree of speculation and cause returns to diminish, but against the real market, our baseline dwarfs them. So we're, we're going to overprice everything. We're going to, uh, we're going to want way too much, but the thing is we're going to do it more efficiently than anything that they're offering us. And so we start to talk about choice with, from within a positive framework, as opposed to a negative one, which is shown, shown to us through the narrative of crisis economics. Now, what I mean is all the news is bad news. Everything's going to cost you, you know, it's ridiculous. Okay, so the Cooper Charm is the level one boss we're about to kick the shit out of. Out of. But there's a better level to play. The devil in the market, is, I'm going to skip all this poetic shit, excuse me. This isn't a pause button game. Yeah, I can't. I told you, man, I need an editor. Pause. No, because I'm going to have to click it now. All right, the devil in the market is the under, in the underlay of the carpet. It's right below and above us, but invisible to everyone, breaking through through the basement and drilling down through the floor. It's the man who walks silently between the layers of riches and necessity. It's the free life we all aspire to. And the main reason why people commit to seeing the world through the eyes of money, feel the need without ever believing in their own freedom to progress or transcend or trans, trans, transgress into markets where they're certain of, of the positive. Pos positivity of their economic action right so in every single market there's a driving force and a pile of capital entirely afloat on the tide of it and that carpet underlay is the man who can guarantee the visibility of that concern and make any number of safe bets within it actually the backing that man uses is the common consciousness and the guarantor of his claim is always public beneficence so what i'm trying to say there is that market speculators become this perfect science. Now you can, I'm not saying you're gonna pitch this like you're on Dragon's Den, but if you could take a pitch to the market and the market supremos and say, you know, I'm gonna have these guys running around for 20 years following this bullshit and I'm gonna make money at every single level of it. Here's how you move the money all the way through the track. You're on a winner, but we're not. We're getting screwed over for 20 years. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's where we want to be as market speculators. And when we speculate on markets, we speculate for the mar market. When we speculate on currency, we speculate for currency. You know? And when you speculate for freedom, well, bollocks, someone must have pissed you off, right? Okay. Now, I'm not the sole author of 10 Billion States product lines, uh, trash pile. I hope, not far from it. I've just started making notes and I do it in a real, really simple way. If I find a solution to a problem, I write it down. Uh, I happen to know the price is usually negligible because I'm working with 10 billion, well, 8, 7.7 .7 billion people. And the gain factor needn't usually therefore extend past the iterative gains with the whole movement and that any number of parts of a whole market drive the rollover that I'm talking about. So in the kit goes, at the other end of building it, we all come out in the right world. And if any of this rocks your boat, go sell that fucker. And if you want to moor your shit next to mine, the birth's free. All right? So that's my pitch. Um, I've been asked to slow down. I've been asked to explain more terms. I hope I've done something like it, but <sighs> not my strong point, really. Not my strong point. All right. Uh, let's see if I need to say anything else on this, because this video is getting long. Hold on. Yeah, no, I can't move the camera. Well. This is embarrassing. I'm stuck. Hold on. <laughs> ah. ah, I want my logos back. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cram in just down beside it. Hold on. Let's just see if there's anything else here to read. I think I'll make this one another one. How we take over every industry on earth. There's gonna be a part four of this. Uh, maybe tonight. Maybe tomorrow. All right. So meantime, I'm just gonna say. This is Freedom Factory. This is 10 billion states. This is Joe. Me. Oh, someone up there. Hi. You see that? That's my hand waving. Oh, I far can get from the camera. Yo. All right. I'll see you next time, uh, probably in a couple of minutes with the next one.